So there are decent fluids video projects out there, and then there are awesome videos. Decent ones tend to require <laughs> cameras to bamboozle viewers into believing the video is sophisticated. Well, tune in and experience this smoking fluids project. Smoke usually does not appear to behave like a liquid for two reasons. Most significantly, smoke usually tends to rise because particles suspended in air are carried upward by convection currents. By lighting the underside of a paper channel, we allow smoke to be caught and give it the opportunity to cool. As the smoke cools, it also condenses, becoming denser than air which allows it to freefall. Notice the changing heat gradient along the length of the tube. One can see that the temperature of smoke flowing from the outlet is now hotter and therefore less dense than the surrounding air. At this point, the smoke stream becomes less stable. The other reason smoke does not usually behave as a liquid has to do with its Reynolds number. Smoke is normally dominated by inertial forces, which can be seen in the rising turbulent flow coming from fires and smokestacks. In this demonstration, however, the characteristic dimension, the diameter of the tube, is small. This keeps the Reynolds number relatively low, which is indicative of laminar flow. By observing the difference in the flow at the channel outlet and near the ground, one can also see that as the velocity of the smoke increases due to gravity, the flow becomes less laminar and more turbulent. This is because the Reynolds number increases with velocity. The Reynolds number also increases with density, but when smoke is less dense than air, it rises and the smoke stream dissipates.